Sports Talk Coast to Coast. Congratulations to the Cincinnati Bengals for going to the Super Bowl. Nobody cares about the Rams, OJ. <laughs> Even though I did pick them to win, I just didn't. <sighs> Look, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, any uh, trade talks, uh, Quail, for the NBA that we need to be worried about? Uh, not worried about, but looking out for? Because I haven't you heard know, any. I <laughs> no, I'm not looking right now. Why you gotta be? A, why you gotta be? A, why you gotta be a Tony about it? Not do no homework. No, I always put. I always put a bunch of trade talk. <laughs> Don't none of them happen. Oh well. Yeah. What about what about this one? Uh, Quail Tom Brady. Well, let me rephrase. Allegedly, he said he was gonna retire on your birthday, but then his pops came back and said nothing's been confirmed yet. Do we even care? Nah. We don't care, but only because we do care to a degree, but I just think that uh, he's just waiting to see what Tampa does. What about you, OJ? I mean, that's your squad, so, I mean, we already know that backup probably ain't played a day in his life. (laughs) Well, no, that that was the whole point. He was supposed to sit and learn behind town. Um, If they... Uh, start on, you know, he'll be starting just like uh, Trey Lance, you know. He only had a, a had a year to get ready. But uh, Brady... Well, at least Trey Lance has played a few games. <coughs> True. But uh, I was going to say, Brady caught that same day. Brady had uh, called the Bucks because Ty Light and uh, Bruce Aarons uh, put out a statement and said that... Uh, Tom Brady said that wasn't true. And that, but he um, did say he's he's going to be done. He put out his own statement. He said he was going to be done uh, on the 31st. He ain't waiting until the thing. He ain't, he's not waiting. He's waiting until Friday. Not like he needs it, but he's waiting for that $15 million signing bonus that he can get on Friday. I mean, he's, he's saying he's, you know, he's done. And he courted Kobe on, you know, when, when Kobe retired. He said, "What well, you know the same the quote on what are you, what are you going to do afterwards? There's other ventures that you can get into." He had quoted that. So, not like he all point, <laughs> all arrows point to him being done. He's through, and it's time for that old man to be through. I've been told y'all that he should have been done. Sick well, of this dude. Statistically, he's he was the best quarterback playing this year. I've been telling y'all that all year, but people still think Aaron Rodgers should be the MVP. Mm-hmm. So, this is the right time to go out. I always go out on top. What about you, Tony? You think he's done? Yeah, I thought it was going to be done last year, so. <laughs> 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 he decided to go in another year, but I mean, I would not be surprised if he comes back for another year. I mean, if he retired this year, I mean, he would go out still on top. I mean, no, he didn't end up in a Super Bowl championship, but I mean, still one of the best quarterbacks to still play the game, especially at his age. So I'd be like, I wouldn't be surprised if he came back for another year and he just held out and waited until the last possible moment he had and said, you know what, he's going to stay on. Some seem to think that he'll sit out for a year and come back and go to another team just to prove that he can still do it, which he really ain't got nothing to prove. He got seven rings, and the numbers he put up is better than the younger guys half his age, some of the younger guys half his age. So, I mean, well, let's talk about these championship games. All right, let's start with San Francisco and these Rams. I picked the Rams to win this game, even though I didn't want them to, but I had a feeling that Either guy, um, Garoppolo was going to make a mistake or the defense wasn't going to show up. And they didn't show up in the fourth quarter. Even though Stafford literally gave them a gift and he dropped it on national TV. Hit him in the chest. He, I could have sure caught that. Did. I could have I could have <laughs> caught that pass. <laughs> I could have caught that pass. But what did he do on the next play, though? It don't matter. <laughs> what do you mean next play? The next play they threw the OBJ on the sideline and got another 15 yard penalty for um on sportsman conduct. Right. They gave that game away. 
They fell apart. The Rams did everything in their power to lose that game, and San Francisco didn't take it. Garoppolo did his job. He only threw one pick, and he was up by 10 going into the fourth quarter. The defense didn't show up. That's the time when the defense usually show up. 10 points in the fourth quarter of Garoppolo, that's usually all you need. Well then, well then, that's another. That begs another question: Would y'all give up Garoppolo right now? Then, because they said he's, he's gonna be going in, next year. He's too inconsistent for me. No, about the rest that's of one mistake too many. I mean, well, uh, a lot of people say he's going to uh, Pittsburgh, but I don't see Pittsburgh taking Garoppolo. Hold on, hold on, okay. What do you mean one mistake too many? We already knew what Garoppolo was, and. By Garoppolo standards, that was a great game. He didn't. He <laughs> didn't. He standard. didn't. <laughs> he didn't <laughs> lose the game. He didn't. He threw two touchdowns. Yeah, he, he, threw inter- away, he threw an interception. He threw an interception. interception. He threw that pick at the but, end. Hold on. Yeah. He threw. A, he threw an interception. That, but the defense put him in that position. Let's True. think about it. If they stop him, they they didn't stop the Rams on the last three drives. So that is true. How do you put your quarterback and your offense, for that matter, in the position to, to have to win the game when, one, you were up by 10 points, two, your defense ain't holding water, and three, your running game didn't help you out by keeping the Rams off the field in the first place? Garoppolo didn't lose that game. The defense did. The adjust or the, the um Shanahan did by not making the right adjustments after the running game wasn't, you know, doing what it usually does. So... Yeah. Just a minute, the Rams made them use Garoppolo. They told they said you ain't running the ball today. And he and he showed up. By Garoppolo standards, by everybody talking <laughs> down about he's such a bad quarterback, to me that's a that's a above average game. That's a that's more than what he did in the Packers game. What do you think, Tony? Did did Garoppolo lose this game or was this other stuff that cost him the game besides that no. dropped interception? <laughs> I got I to gotta kind of agree with Cliff on this for the most part. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I, th- I think a lot of attention is placed on the end of the game where he, I mean, that was a boneheaded way that he was, he was trying to keep it alive and all, but dude, he threw that duck up and I'm like, oh no. And sure enough, it got picked. So that gets a lot of attention, but you're right. There's no way that they should have been in that position. The defense allowed allowed send uh the rams to just keep coming downfield and scoring and there were many opportunities that san francisco could have taken control of the game they just didn't do it and if it's coming down to the end of the game like that i mean yeah it was a boneheaded play by garoppolo but he played a solid game t- until the end so if everybody else is making mistakes during the game he can't make a mistake i mean it was a poor timing on his part to make that mistake but no i mean the other people weren't showing up and that line was getting blitzed and i'm like what the heck is going on here <laughs> right so eric answer this question because you're the first one who said that garoppolo can cost him the game because he threw that pick so does he get rid of the ball or does he take a sack and try to convert a fourth and 25 i like my chances with third and 13 better because aaron Donald was in his face it was either that's, get hit or get true. rid of the ball Right. Yeah, I mean, if it was me, I'd probably get rid of the ball. But okay, yeah, or at least yeah. throw it to nowhere to to where nobody can get it, and you yeah. got another shot because it stops the clock. OJ. Yes, sir. Stafford still sucks. <laughs> oh wow! But Guess for all that. this, but for all this hype for this Rams defense, they only sacked Garoppolo once and only knocked him down twice. And if I can count the times on one hand that I heard uh, Donald, um, Donaldson's number or name, yeah. it was three, yeah. and only one of them was for pressure. The other two, they were talking about him in passing, about his motivation and this and that and the other. It wasn't changing the aspect of the game. Why didn't he show up? They, they had them figured out. They was. They were double teaming them. And they were, you know. Motiva- motiva- mo- motivational speech or not. If you're the defensive player of the year two years in a row and all this hype is about you, you should have more than one knockdown. More than one sack. You are the one, the main one, who said that he wasn't going to give Garoppolo no time to throw. But and I think, two, but I think two, but I think two touchdowns. And he didn't get in his face but one time, OJ. 
And that was the well, time when he threw the interception. They had like two, three people on. I don't and care then, how many people they had on him. If he's supposed to be the end all, be all, you get through that. Whatever, Bruce Smith man. did it. Reggie White did it. Hell, Terrell, nah. Terrell Suggs even Terrell did Suggs. it. So, <laughs> yeah, team, not no triple team. Man, Lawrence I don't care. Taylor. I don't care. Yep. If you're supposed double to be the end all, be all, you, you find a way to get in there. Because they were double. Because because the bottom, you want to talk about double, triple team. They double and triple team um, Nick Bosa. They had him on the ground. And guess what? Yeah. He still got the match. Oh, man. That, I could have made that sack. The quarterback was right there next to him. It don't matter. They still had him on the ground, right? They had two, three people on the right. He's on the ground, and he's like, oh, the quarterback right here. Let me get Hey, him. but any, by any means necessary, right? <laughs> Come on, man. I'm no, I'm not that. giving you no credit. Nope. Nope. Go on somewhere with that. <laughs> the, the bottom line is the Rams are in the Super Bowl. Yeah, same thing happened to the, the same thing happened to the Chiefs that happened to the Niners. The defense didn't come out with the locker room in the second half. Mm-hmm. You know what happened when they when they when they got that touchdown with Chase and tied it up? Oh, them boys really started to believe then. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> it was it was over long before that. Because after Mahomes threw that interception in the end zone, and I think at that point, especially in a playoff game, you take the points. You don't let your quarterback tell you what to do. Yeah, maybe he's good. He he is good. But in that situation, especially when you are know that you you're you was in a dog fight with this team last time, you take mm-hmm. the points. All right, Cliff, you know better. You know better. Now I'm gonna get on you now. You're pulling the OJ. First <laughs> off, you know that Wilson ain't made for to make no adjustments. Well, you know he ain't gonna make no adjustments. That. <laughs> yeah, and, and that 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 and that's that was the difference. Andy Reid didn't make adjustments and Zach Taylor Zach Taylor did. And I thought this is what he was gonna do, but I thought he would be crazy to try it, but he wasn't. He only had three down linemen and was doubling everybody, Kelsey. Pringle and Hill on the obvious passing play, plus the fact that they didn't have a running game anyway. So, Ooh. man, McKinnon was killing them boys. What happened? Y'all stopped running it. There was never a running game to begin with. It wasn't. They successful. were getting nervous though. They were getting nervous and they were starting to try yeah, to chuck it downfield. Like they did they the same thing do. San Francisco did. They just stopped. Oh, they went away man. from their game plan. And they, yeah, they did. And when and when they did that. Zach Thomas said, "Okay, you're not going to run, so we're not going to we're not going to rush. We're just going to put three down linemen, and we're going to put eight DBs in there." And right? Yeah, exactly they just did. do they just did the same thing they always do, where they like, oh, improvise. Uh, you know, have Kansas City's quarterback improvise. Mahomes just throw it downfield. But dude, everybody knows that blueprint. Play cover two. <laughs> cover two. <laughs> that that nah, shuts that they, down. They, hey, LJ, and you know from Madden days, they wasn't playing no do- no dime package. They was playing a dollar package. They had eight <laughs> DBs on the field. <laughs> they had eight DBs. They're like, skip that. Y'all can't run the ball anyway, so we're about to right. we're about to double everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so big up to blanket. Cincinnati. And the other thing that Cincinnati yeah. has on their side that the Rams the, that that the Rams don't have OJ is Joel Burrow is much 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 more mobile than mm-hmm. Matthew Stafford is. Yes. Yeah, and that's what mm-hmm. kind of negates that offensive line because. They had him a few times, but he he made the runs when he had to run. Yeah, he was getting out of stuff, and I was just like, "Wow!" I was like, yeah. "Come on now, y'all got to get that man down." That was just growing. Right. You know, he only a two year player. Y'all, he mm-hmm. wasn't nervous. He wasn't nervous at all. That's another thing. He he got nervous. And, and who y'all got that's cool. gonna be able to keep up with Chase? Just like who the hell the Rams got that's gonna Nobody. be able to keep up with Cup? Nobody. <laughs> he got Jalen Ramsey. Oh, Shoot, Ramsey no can't way. keep up with it's, can't keep up with Chase. You know that. No, nope. that's the that's the closest thing we got to Dion right here. Because he's he's the shut down corner. <laughs> number one, there's only number one, there's only one Dion. Number two, Chase mm-hmm. runs a four one forty, and uh right uh that corner you just named is is a four three. I looked at it before I came in here. But anyway, so <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you give if Chase gets a step, forget about it. So Tony. <clears throat> I'm glad that you um answered the question last week the way that you did cuz I was on the fence but I'm not anymore <clears throat> when I asked you if Mahomes should be the Jordan of the NFL making that mental mistake at the end of the first half and then the way that he started the overtime just I'm not saying he's not a good quarterback I'm not even saying he's not a great quarterback but there were mistakes 
that the way that you've been winning, you should not make. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is why I said I hold it. I'm holding out on that status. He, he, uh, <clears throat> I mean, he's good, no doubt. He's one of the premier quarterbacks in the league. He's in that top class, but he's he's not there quite yet. And he's he's proven to us why, well, proven to me anyway, why I don't put him in that top tier class. But he's a, he's a great quarterback. He's a good quarterback. He's a, learn and, every, yeah, everybody ahead. listening. Uh, you know, I know you listen to the show, Mahomes. I, I'm I'm saying this sincerely. Don't end up like Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Don't end up like Aaron Rodgers, man. <laughs> well, to, be, to be fair. To be fair. There ain't no to be fair. No, but no, <laughs> I'm not. I, hey, I'm not discounting nothing that you're saying on um, the path that he's on. But to be fair, he has been to two Super Bowls. Rodgers only been to one. So uh, right. You said that, but he's he lost. Y'all said it don't matter. He lost now. <laughs> no, 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 no. You got to win the big chip. Even though you guys was lo- even though guys, it wasn't his fault. Guys were dropping passes. They were, the, the, yeah. it was just too big for them. It was just too big. <laughs> I can't you really know, going against Brady. Yeah, I can't really um, fault him for overtime because I'm pretty sure he was following whatever plays were called into him. But that mental mistake at the end of the half <clears throat> can I mean I think all of us can agree he was never the same during the game after that. Yeah, and. With with only three seconds left at the end of the half, you take the points. You, you take always the points. take the points. <laughs> Thank and, you, I mean, I know the game probably could have went a different direction if they had done that, but a lot of people say that game wouldn't. They would have won that game in regulation had they took them three points at the end of the half. But you know, this just proves, for lack of a better term, that Mahomes is human. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That he is, and we all make mistakes. Yep. I mean, we, we, I mean, we can't come down on Mahomes like he's the only quarterback who's ever done this. At, at, nope. at Matt, ask Matt Ryan. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> and he was down. I, he was up twenty-eight to three. Three. <laughs> took that sack, man. I can't believe he took that sack. Matt Ryan, all he I needed was a field goal. It was Matt Ryan. Hold on, y'all. What'd you say, OJ? I said, was it Matt Ryan or was it Kyle Shanahan? Because he was the offensive it was coordinator. Matt. Maybe, but at the same time, the offense didn't score no more points. And I mean, they you can call him, but hold on, hold on. He, he can't run the place for him. Hold on, hold on. It was, it was part. You could say it was Kyle Shanahan, but he still could have iced the game with a field goal. He took that sack and it took him out of field goal range. Oh, and and, and, goal. and let's not act like Tom Brady is perfect because he didn't blew some leads too in playoff games. And if I'm not mistaken, Eli in the Super Bowl. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, but you know what? I'm not even mad that the Rams won because it was a competitive game and because I picked mm-hmm. them to win anyway, even though I didn't want to. But I had a feeling that either Garoppolo was going to throw it away or the defense was going to give it away. And what could happen did happen. So, I would. it would have been a nice narrative, though, if Garoppolo had took them to the Super Bowl and actually maybe even won it against Cincinnati. It would have been real hard for San Francisco to, to say, okay, we don't want you no more. Right. Because the Super Bowl champ winning quarterback, I don't care how much he had to do with it. He would have been the quarterback of that team. But I guess it would have been no different than the Bears firing Lovey Smith after going 12-4. Mm-hmm. And they went to the Super Bowl, didn't they? No, yeah. it was, no, it was a year after. It was a year. It was he didn't no, get fired the, the the year he went to the Super Bowl. He got fired after the, the next year, season. Yeah, the year after. But they wanted a the division. Oh, okay. what it was. Ain't much other news going on. The Lakers are fakers. Chicago's losing again, like I knew they would. So wait, the, the Lakers lost again? They, they, I don't know if they. Yeah, they did lose the other day. But Quell put in the chat that they're the uh, one NBA team that they they lead in ten plus. 10 point uh, deficit blowing 10 point leads in the NBA this year. So, mm. mm. talk about the mm. Lakers, huh? Mm. Yeah, they yeah. can't close. They can't close the deal. Hell what's up with uh, what's up with um, Golden State getting happy about be- beating the Kevin Durant list uh, net team? I wouldn't be happy about that, even if he was on the team and playing. I mean, it's like, dude. That's the Nets. I mean, come Clay on. Clay Thompson is starting to roll a little bit. I think he scored 23 the other night when the game. 
He's starting to do a little bit better. And... But they ought to be ashamed of themselves because they was up by like 25 points and the Nets came back with just Harden and Kyrie and almost won that game. Sure Chances did. are they're not going to win a seven-game series against a lot of these teams. I just There's no way. don't think that they that good. Yeah, if Durant comes be. back, uh-huh. which he should, but. But if, Dur- if Durant comes back, I still give it to the Nets in five, you know, in five if they were, if that was the case. I don't give it to the Nets to come out of the East even if they got all three of them because just like last year and just like the year before, they ain't they're not playing a lot of games together. So the chemistry is not gonna be there. They're gonna mm-hmm. find somebody who plays together all the time, like Milwaukee, Miami, maybe even Boston or, or Philly, that's gonna be more as a unit. And if you if Kyrie can't play home games, it's not gonna matter anyway. No. Yeah, and James Harden finna be up out of there, so they ain't gonna they they gonna be you know they distraught right now. Um, um, they got a little to be happy about. I mean, the, the Nets are a different team when they got Kyrie on the floor. I hate to say it, uh-uh. but no, nah, they are. But he ain't enough. All right, let's go to the Super Bowl pick because we know it's past Tony's bedtime. They're going to speak on me out. <laughs> That's what he do. Uh, all right, OJ, yeah. we're going to start with you. Cincinnati or the Rams and by, and, 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 you know, by how many points? And I guess if you want to give a little bit of the keys of the game, for lack of a better term, or what you think each team needs to do to win. I like both of these teams, so it really wouldn't matter to me who won this game, but for argument's sake, I like the Rams a little bit more, so I'm gonna go with the Rams because my boy Stafford is not, is the quarterback, and I want to see him go out on top. Hey, Quell, you notice that it, he wasn't his boy until he went to the, a team with some receivers, right? He wasn't <laughs> his boy when he's in Detroit. So, what did, what does Cincinnati need to do if they want to pull the upset? Since you said the Rams are gonna win, what they got to do is they got to get that ball out quick. They're gonna since their tight end is hurt. That means they got to uh, employ the screen game. You know, is he out underneath. because they don't play for two weeks? They, he has a knee injury. I don't know if, if he's going to play or not. Same with Higby on on the Rams. He got a knee injury too. But uh, I don't know. I'm just saying if 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 both of those guys are out, it kind of um, cancels each other out because they're going to be on their third string tight end, both teams. Okay, but uh. All right, um, Tony. <clears throat> oh, my father, are you done? No. Go ahead. Yeah, cut me off. Go ahead. Skip. Like I said, <laughs> <laughs> like I said they have to do the uh, quick passes and do the screen game and then take their chances when it up, you know, downfield. But they're not going to have much time to throw the ball downfield. That's why the uh, running back, Mixon, he can catch the ball out the backfield. They're going to have to run slants and, you know, hitches, stuff, you know, quick stuff because uh, they're not going to have time. And then on defense, you know, I hate to say that Stafford is known to give you one or two. They have to capitalize on the mistakes because uh, the Rams have the edge as far as the receivers. The running backs kind of cancel each other out. Uh the, the the Rams have an edge on the defensive side too, so it's really going to be an uphill battle for Cincinnati. But I can see them winning this game easily because their quarterback is cool, calm, and poised, and they believe in him, and he delivers. So it's it's going to be a, a good game. All right, Quill. Anything to add, or you just want to say who's going to win and by how much? Um. Yeah, I guess I ain't got nothing. I mean, we'll see. I, I usually I'm usually go with experience, so I would go with the Rams. But Matthew Stafford sucks, so I'm gonna go with uh, Joe Burrow because <laughs> he a winner. He an actual winner. Hey, right? Joe Burrow actually been putting in work. Matthew Stafford's a faker. <laughs> hmm. Eric, no, I'm gonna go with Joe Burrow too. Um. But OJ's right. You got to use Mixon and use him a lot because uh, Joe is not going to have time to throw it out in the field. 
he'll probably get uh, Jamar on a few downfield, but he's got to throw it quick. That's for sure. Use mixing. Or do what Joe did uh, Sunday. Use his legs to get first downs. So, I got him winning by three, maybe. Three. I'm going to go with the field goal. Cincinnati by three. All right, we got two for Cincinnati and one for them Rams. Oh, I'm Tony. What's up? Uh, this is going to be a good game, man. This is kind of tough to call, but somehow, some way, I'm thinking that uh, Matthew Stafford may shock a lot of people this this weekend. Oh, what well, two weeks? Two weeks from now in the Super Bowl, they may, he might shock some folks. I mean, yeah, Burrow, it, he's a good quarterback too, but I don't know. It's something about this game that's like, man, Stafford might actually get him a ring. <laughs> he might actually do it. I mean, he's got. They definitely got an edge with the receiving core, and I like them. I like both these teams, but I'm just thinking that which, whichever whichever defense is getting off and setting the tone of the game, I, I think that's going to give that's going to give the offense a nice spark. Now, which team does it? I don't know because both of them are capable. I'm going to do a surprise here. I, I, I'm going to actually I'm going to give the nod to Stafford. I want to watch it. He better not be, make me look look a fool, but I'm going to get a nod to Stafford. I think he holds it together. He does enough to manage the game, does enough to keep his players in the game, and the defense is going to do with the – well, I maybe a field goal. I'm thinking it's going to come down to a field goal, and I give it to the Rams. As usual, y'all you leave me to break the tie. This is going to be – Tough, this is going to be a tough uh, matchup for Cincinnati. Um, but the Rams have a running game, which Kansas City really didn't. It just depends on if the Rams are able to implement that and not get in long down situations. The difference on the other side of the ball, though, for Cincinnati is I heard a couple of y'all say that um, Burrow has to throw a quick. Yeah, no, because remember he did get sacked nine times against the Raiders, but the the nine the are not the Raiders, but the the Bang are the Titans. But when he wasn't on the ground, he was making plays and giving his receivers more time to get downfield. So I think his legs not getting first downs, but just giving his receivers time to get downfield to for the big play like Chase, who doesn't meet a whole lot of time anyway, is going to be the difference. I don't think. Donald and and Miller is going to be able to keep up with him. I mean, Cincinnati's line ain't the greatest, but it's good enough to give him a few seconds back there. Um, But, OJ, whether you believe it or not, and I don't care, whoever listens to the show can email me and disagree with me all you want to, but Stafford reminds me of Garoppolo, because you know he's going to make at least one mistake. <laughs> <laughs> You know he is. Now, is Stafford more more accurate than Garoppolo? Probably. But when it relates to managing the game, I think Garoppolo's way better at that because Stafford just, if he's getting blitzed, he's not to that point yet where he's not going to make a mistake. He gets, he panics. Garoppolo doesn't. I mean, Garoppolo will take a sack more times than not, voiding out the end of yesterday's game, but Garoppolo will take a sack before he throws up a pick. So, like y'all said, this is a tough one to call. Um, I don't know. Should I go with my heart or my head? My head says the Rams. My heart says the Bengals, because they haven't had a, a Super Bowl ch championship ever, and they haven't been to the Super Bowl in over 25 years. And that Zach Thomas is, or Taylor has got that team playing good. And I don't think Mac, Mac, uh, McFay is a very good coach to begin with. I think he's satisfied with beating Kyle Shanahan. I think he's going to come into this game unprepared. And I'm not saying he's just going to do bonehead stuff, but Zach Taylor has already proven in these playoffs he's be, he's beaten two of the best because that Titans coach wasn't no punk and Andy Reid has been around the block a few times so I, I think I'm going with Cincinnati yep I'm going with Cincinnati by a field goal might even be a touchdown because they got Jamar Chase 
The Rams got the better de uh, receiving core, and they probably got the better defense. But when it comes to effort and determination and heart, I got to give that nod to Cincinnati. And, you know, that always wins in my book. <clears throat> you ain't got to be the biggest, the fastest, and the strongest. But if you're more determined and you, and you, and you use your, your talents wisely and you pick your spots, oh, yeah, you can win the game. You can win the game. So, yep, I'm going with Cincinnati. All right, now that you done said what you was going to say, I'm going to have to push back a little bit. You know, Stafford, in one season, half the season, because by then they only played 16 games, he got eight fourth-quarter comebacks, and that's in one season. So that, that man is clutch. Get a man some respect. I'd like to know who those comebacks was against. Me too. Actually. Because he played in the NFC North. Come on now. And I'm not saying he's not good, a good quarterback. I'm just saying that people who say that he's a whole lot better just because he's on the Rams is full of it. He's the same quarterback. He just got weapons, like you said. Mm-hmm. I'll go as far as say he's a good quarterback. Is he a top five? Not in my book. Well, no. Is he a top I ten? Mean, Maybe. Well, you think Matthew Stafford's a top ten quarterback? Next question. <laughs> Dang. No. I don't that. So y'all, so would y'all say he's one rung up from Kirk Cousins? Because right. I would, I, I, I would definitely break OJ, OJ, <laughs> calm down. He is not way better than Kirk Cousins. I would rate him above him. He on that, he on that tier on, list. Man. Tony, he I don't, I don't, list. Tony, I don't disagree with you a lot, but I'm gonna have to disagree with you on this one. I think Kirk Cousins is a better quarterback. I do. You think so? I do. I do. Well, I think he number you one, know, you, number one, he has better arm strength. Now he may not be he, that accurate, but he does get the ball down. No, actually, a lot no, quicker Cliff, than you're Stafford wrong. Does. You're wrong. He's the he's one of the most accurate quarterbacks of all time. Y'all, he's one of the most. If you want to look it up, I've looked. I've showed y'all this stat before, which I used to. I used to get on him about. He's the one of the most accurate quarterbacks of all time, all time, and he's been a, one of the most accurate quarterbacks this season. He was actually. I think he's a, he's top. He's a top quarterback of accuracy this season. And you think you think you think hey, OJ? You think Stafford better than Jameis Winston? Uh, nope. Winston, you don't think Stafford better than Jameis Winston? Winston's a better quarterback. Well, then that's like a 12. <laughs> you put Winston in there. I mean, come on, man. Y'all be hating on Winston, Winston too. I do well, we do. <laughs> I did I did I did pull back on Winston this year when he when he showed me that he could after he got out of Tampa that he could actually do something. So don't say y'all. I gave him his credit. I'm not giving Matthew Stafford his credit because he still ain't proved nothing to me. He ain't did nothing yet that golf didn't do already. Now, if yeah. he wins, a, now if he wins the Super Bowl, I'll say okay, he, he all right. But right, to me, <laughs> right. he still he still yeah, wasn't right. worth no damn two three three draft picks. I'm I'm sorry. No, no. But he got and he got to win, OJ, because he, if he ain't win, he Jared Goff. I don't care what you say. If he don't win, he's Jared Goff because Jared Goff got there. Jared Goff got there with a, with a similar team because they had a decent receivers that year and they pretty much had the same defense. It was competitive though because I don't want to see no blowout unless the Cincinnati blowing the Rams right. out. I want I wouldn't I would not mind the Bengals blowing the, blowing the Rams out because that would just shut up all that talk about no yeah whatever. And even if the Rams do win and they don't run it back next year, yeah. I don't care who their quarterback is. They better get Garoppolo. <laughs> Matthew Stafford retired. They can get Garoppolo. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yep. They can they can go back and get Garoppolo. So, y'all think Aaron Rodgers is going to end up in Denver or what? Not that I care, but 
we know he ain't going back to Green Bay. If he does, I'll be if 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 he stays in Green Bay, I will be very surprised. Man, I hope he do. I hope he go. Then we can then we can finally start over, and Vikings don't have to be like, oh, we got to compete. That'd be a tough Just, division. Um, well, Rodgers. Uh huh. Yep. Rodgers, Mahomes, Herbert, and Carr. Ooh, man, them, 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 Ooh, them are top ten wee. quarterbacks right there. Yeah. And people don't give Garoppolo enough credit. He knew he wasn't going to be back on this team next year. He could have just said, "F y'all, I'm not playing no more." But he went out there and played as a professional, made his money because he could have been a he could have pouted about it. He could have just went out there throwing picks. He could have just he could have did a whole lot of stuff. All right, well that's the show for this week. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.